And then there is another one. And another one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on with y'all? How y'all doing? Hope everything is going well on your end. For real, for real. Appreciate you for coming through as always. Appreciate your time. Had to take a little a couple days off, you know, just, uh, you know, but I still am here pumping out these videos. Don't worry about that. Uh, feel free to drop a like, you know, uh, join up, drop a comment, join the conversation. We don't get into this. We got a mom here that's pretty much fed up of the bullshit, fed up of uh, the indoctrination that's taking place in some of these schools. And this is what she got to say about it. As you can see in the foreground, we got uh the lgbtq plus a a a lgbtq i a a plus um flag in the background which they've somehow associated with the civil rights movement and black people and brown people in this country which is disgusting because i understand that they have their own rights that they're fighting for but they haven't had um like years and years of just oppression to a different level like you weren't put in a concentration camp because you were gay you weren't put in a in a in a in a in a in a holding camp because you were uh a trans you weren't put in a mental asylum because you were bi like you know what i mean like those people have not been oppressed and stuff and, and and throughout history the way other people have you know even if you want to talk about the tuskegee where black people were targeted for these experiments as far as i know which i could be corrected in 10 20 15 35 years from now there could be something that comes out but i haven't seen anything recently you know so why are we lumping them in with the civil rights movement and why is this shit being taught and pushed on children not even being taught to children being pushed on children the way it is we have children as young in this country and around the world i'm sure we have children as young as like four kindergarten pre-k aged being indoctrinated into sexuality what place does sexuality have to play with children bro anyway let's get into the video yo this mom right here is gonna she she's what a lot of parents are now starting to uh stand up and say around this country i've seen a lot you know, parents getting more involved in the uh, PTA and be and more involved in the Board of Education meetings. I commend parents for stepping up like that. And this mom, she's had enough. Let's get into it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. What are you oh. doing? Look at this fucking snowflake teacher. She wasn't ready. And this mom right here looked like a uh, a brown mama. You feel me? She coming in there a little spicy. Why is that flag covering up the map of the USA? That's what they want us to be, yo. Because we're the only country. You see around the world, Uganda and other uh, countries are being persecuted and being threatened. No, 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 let me say being threatened with the threat of being persecuted uh, for not pushing this uh, alphabet agenda. And who's pushing it the most? America, the Western Hemisphere. And we're telling everybody else, get in line. And, you know, bricks, that's why it's it's coming around. And it's a real thing, yo. Wait, wait, wait. What are you oh. doing? Not. Not. Stop that. But I can't. I am not coming How dare you? I am Mom. not. <laughs> Throw that shit in the oh, trash. Yeah. Throw that shit in the trash. This is a grown woman, teacher. You ain't telling mom, Duke, shit. What you gonna say? Go to the principal? Or fuck the principal. Support, get out of this type of now. You why, why do you have this hanging? In the front of the class. This is where her podium is. Her desk probably somewhere over here. This is her podium right here. Why is that flag up there? 
pledging allegiance to that flag and shit. Why do you have this hanging up? Uh, it is part, part of the students. No. Nah, fuck that. It's not part of anything. Mom. Even if students identify with that shit, it's not a big ass population of them to where that needs to be pushed in everybody's face. If even you have three percent, six percent, let's say ten percent of the of the of the school population, let's say fifteen percent, let's say twenty, twenty five percent. You understand what I'm saying? It's still not the majority. Why is that being pushed on the majority as if it's the norm? It's an agenda being pushed. That is uncalled for. Mm. We are paying you to teach history, and that's what you need to be teaching. Excuse me, this is a public. Yay! You need to be teaching history. Fuck is you teaching progressive shit? That shit that should be taught by like a teacher of a teacher taught like future, futuristic, future history or some shit like that. Why is she teaching that? She's teaching history. Shit that's happened already. What you need to be teaching. Excuse me. This is a public school, little lady. You Fuck are that. exiles. You are to you. And yeah, it's a public school. And guess who's paying them? Taxpayers. And that's why we need more parents getting involved, making sure that this shit is not happening. As hard as it is, because I'm seeing shit crazy. I just saw an article about in Kansas, I believe, or Kansas City, Missouri, one of those. Um, Four biological girls were beat out by one biological male, a transgender female, uh, for homecoming queen. Now, what type of shit is that? What the dog doing? Yo, this mom, shout out to this mom, yo. Shout out to this mom for real, for real. And this teacher trying to pull the shit out of the trash, yo, because that's the that's the flag she pledged allegiance to. No, no. This needs to go exactly where it is, in the garbage. You need to go in the garbage. I'm teaching my son. You need to go in the garbage. And I don't want you hanging on flag. I'm calling security. Hanging on flag. And teach them the type of stuff I'm trying to keep them away from. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. As parents, like I said, as young in some of these places, as young as kindergarten age, they are indoctrinating these children, putting seeds that should never be in a child's mind. And now it's the school. Like, I can understand. All right. Me personally. All right, bet. So when I was younger, yes, I was, you know, at a younger age, not 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 kindergarten or some shit like that. Like I'm talking like 10, 11, you feel me? And stumbled across, you know what I mean? And yes, I was curious and shit like that. You feel me? You see some girls and shit like you see. But nobody was pushing it on me, an adult. Was not pushing it on me. Uh, a, a peer that was maybe a little bit older than me was not pushing the shit on me. Now we have teachers in positions of authority pushing it the way they are. You understand what I'm saying? Like when I was younger, yeah, I came across it by accident. I probably shouldn't have been, whatever. But nobody pushed anything on me. They allowed me to, you know. Okay, I found out about it. Okay, as a kid, you know what I'm saying? You're going to stay hush-hush and shit like that. You're not going to make a big deal. Like, you know what I mean? You might go explore and shit like that. You might go check it out on on, 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 the, on the computers and shit like that. Like, keeping it real. If we're keeping it real. Feel me? But it's not at a fucking eight years old. I'm seeing it in a school library or a teacher telling me it. And then I'm going and looking up. Or then I'm going to ask her. Or even then the, 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 the seeds are planted. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, man, this shit's sick, yo. Real shit, yo. You got to watch what your kids is doing. Watch their phones. Watch the um, the devices. All that shit. Watch the, uh, the if you got them on social media, watch that. Even though me personally below a certain age, no. But I told you what would happen. I told you. I told you somebody here going to get mad. You need to be teaching history. Yep. No, you need to be teaching history. Shut up. No, hey, I'm not getting out of nowhere. Like that. I'm not getting out of nowhere. Hey, yo, W, W to the sun, yo. He said, yo. Oh, like that. I'm history. Shut up. No, hey, I'm not getting out of nowhere. Like that. She thinks she talking to the low, to them little girls in the high school. 
That's a grown ass woman. If she really wanted to embarrass her in front of uh, her class right now, she'll show Molly Wap ass all up and down that classroom. Word. You see how bottom hole bottom is sturdy. You see how thick she is? She's sturdy. This lady, she'll she'll grab that collar and drag her ass, yo. Are we talking about yo, W to the sun, man? I'm not getting out of nowhere. Hey, no, you don't tell my son to shut up. You talking to me. Your son ain't failing. My son ain't failing. He needs to be failing. He got a flag. You know why he failing? Cause he he's studying history and you teach him bullshit and he don't know what the fuck the answers are. When was the Constitution written? She probably say uh, after uh, George Floyd got murked in 2021 or 2022 or something like that. When this whole agenda really picked up and shit like that, the whole BLM and shit. Because of you, oh, because the United States of America, you need you. Like I said, man, a lot of these teachers. They took a, um, you feel me? Not an oath, but you feel me? They supposed to be teaching the children stuff that's supposed to actually benefit them in this world, in this country. And this is the shit that they doing. Real talk to the parents, please. You feel me? Watch what's going on. Watch what your children are doing. Watch what they watching and shit like that. Because there's so much shit like that. Even on YouTube, kids, even watch it. Because there's some, there's a lot of stuff going around right now that... It's an agenda. I'm convinced they trying to do something. You feel me? And the main target number one is the children. They want to get them on board young. You feel me? But um, like I said, W to the son, stand up to his moms and even telling his moms about this. And W W W W W W to the moms. You feel me? Taking a stand. This may not be the way that a lot of people are gonna do it, but guess what? It's gonna go viral. A lot of people are gonna see it and get the word. And a lot of people could agree that um. We don't need our children being indoctrinated into this shit. Like, if you're an adult, make your decision. If you're a child and you think a certain thing, hopefully you have the right people in your life to, you feel me, lead you a certain direction until you are of age to make that decision. Nobody's saying you can't. You can. But I want to make sure that people don't live to regret it because I've looked up the statistics. Um of certain things not saying everything not saying everything certain things within that agenda okay um and i'm not you feel me live your life i just have a problem when it's being pushed on the kids and this is clearly children this is probably a high school doesn't need to be anywhere near there but um yeah as i draw to the uh close let me just get into my one random clip if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you hit the like, drop a comment, and um, join the conversation, definitely. Um, got a quick one. Because if we indoctrinate them young, right, this is what we going to get. We going to get a generation that doesn't know what the fuck they are. You feel me? And when reality smacks them on the face, you feel me, it's going to be a harsh, rude awakening. And, uh... Let's get in the clip. And hey, hey, so hey! What? He probably you, do not get, what? do not get up in my face like this. You don't want. You do well, not want to be playing man this. To man? Oh shit! Fuck! Get, and hey, hey, so hey! What? So real quick, a little bit of backdrop. This one right here in the green is a biological woman that wants to be addressed as a man, and this uh, <coughs> flight attendant is a biological man that I believe is on his job and also sees that it's a woman and is practicing a lot of restraint. Let's check it out. Probably you, do, not get, do not get up in my face like this. You don't want, you do well, not want to be playing man this. To man? We can't talk man to man? I don't think that's possible. That's not possible? Why? I don't think it's possible because there's only one man standing in this aisle right now. Now and sit me. down, little miss. And before I go ahead and get, child. I'm gonna go ahead and get TSA to come hey, on this yo, plane. Hey, yo, did you see Homegirl face right here? Why would they hold me off? You want to make because that I identify as a male? You don't want to identify me as such? Uh, the government chose what to identify you when you were born in a hospital. They wrote M or F next to your birth certificate. Okay, that is my that, life. That was dictated by a power much greater than mine. And I don't feel that way. A higher power than me. I'm not the authority. I'm a man. I'm not the authority that assigned you. You need to get up out of his face. She needs to get up out of his She needs to get up out of his face. I agree. Thank you, sir. If you continue this display, if you cannot confirm 
what my docket says here that there are in fact two ladies sitting in this aisle there is one then i'm sorry gonna have to lady, leave. correct there is one lady you're gonna have and to leave. one man well that's not what it says i need in these seats in order to fly so if you're going to continue to fight the facts that i'm looking at right here then I'm going to have to haul yeah. you off because you could be a dangerous person. We don't know. Yep. We have no way of confirming Because this. I identify as a because male. Because you're not because the person on my list. You're not because the person I am on my list. a man? It's a simple one of two answers. Are you mad because I'm no more man than you? There's no gray zone. Is that what you're mad about? Is it really that big of a deal? Yo, yo, yo that's what they love. I don't need this. Yo, that's what they love to say, yo. And if he, if he was to knock her ass out, she'd be like, Oh, I'm a girl. Why you hit me? Or she'd be looking around like old girl that got hit with the brick. And she'd be like, what? Why nobody helping me? You know what I'm saying like, oh, my gosh. But if we keep on indoctrinating these children into this type of thing, this is what will come. They will really believe, believe wholeheartedly. That that's what it is. But either way, y'all let me know what it is. Uh, I appreciate y'all for sticking around. Uh. Damn, wavy, out.